Hey pals, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. And today's video pals, I'll be giving you pals five tips on how to always get win trades in Adopt Me. Okay pals, so I thought of this video idea because sometimes in Adopt Me, I do get win trades. And I wanted to give you pals some tips that have helped me get win trades in Adopt Me. But pals, before we do get started on with the video pals, make sure you pals like and subscribe, follow me on Roblox and join my Roblox group. I am so close to 300 followers on Roblox and let's get to 300 followers, I mean group members on my group. Join my new unicorn and new Bee giveaway. I'll be announcing the giveaway winner when I hit 5k and also stay tuned, turn on the post notifications because I'll be going live a lot. So make sure you turn on post notifications to be notified whenever I go live. But yeah pals, let's get started on with the video. Okay pals, so the first tip I have for you pals is to always make sure you know the value of the pet that you're trading in Adopt Me. For example, let's say if I have a frost dragon and I don't really know the values, let's say I feel like it's worth like a neon unicorn and I end up trading it for a neon unicorn, that's a huge downgrade to my inventory. Not only I'm getting a huge lose, I'm not growing my inventory at all and I have no chance of getting any win trade. But if you learn the value of your pet, you're most likely to see what's fair or not, and you're most likely to get your win trades by learning the value of your pet. You can learn values by happy values, frost values, most of the time frost values is what most people in Adopt Me use when they learn values. And you can use a whole load of websites to learn your frost values. For example, here is a few Adopt Me value um, trading websites you can learn your frost values from. The one I definitely recommend is the Elfbred slash Adopt Me values w win value sorry calculator i recommend it so much because it's good with first values so yeah anyways pals let's move on to the next tip okay pals so the next tip i have for you pals is to not seem too desperate when it comes to trading okay pals so let's say you're really 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 desperate for a pet and you spam the chat so many times tell me if you had this pet and you really really want this pet for like an overpay to get your win trade it's better if you, if you don't seem too desperate when it comes to trading because it can make the other person end up trading for like maybe i'm a bit over maybe like i shouldn't you know do this trade anymore and it's most likely they will lose interest in the trade so pals if you want to get win trades you always have to make sure that i guess you say you're patient when it comes to trading you don't really spam the chat too much and you kind of wait and see if they will do your offer and yeah in order to get your win trade or whatever it's very much you sit back because most of the time some people might be like oh maybe this pet is losing value and they might lose interest in the pet so it's just good to wait and let people trade you in adopt me anyways pals let's move on to one of my next tips okay pals so my third tip for you pals when it comes to getting win trades in adopt me it's to be polite okay pal so when it comes to trading i know it can get really frustrating when you don't get the trade you want or some people in adopt me can be like a bit rude when it comes to like trading or be like add more add more when you seem calm and polite and show respect it shows the other person how maybe you're like better with trading than them and they most likely might consider doing your trade which could therefore classify as being your win trade and to be honest, sometimes it's really, really, really hard doing this tip because in Adopt Me, there are so many rude people when it comes to trading. But just being polite and just having that little more respect just gives the other person or makes you look like the better trader. So yeah, pals. Anyways, pals, let's move on to my fourth tip for this video. Okay, pals. So my next tip I have for you, pals, is to try to trade for preppy pets. Why I say this is because preppy pets actually are the pets that get the most of the overpays. And an example from like a preppy mega that literally gets so many overpays is a mega owl and I've had one before. Mega owls get a lot of overpays because it seems to be like a cute looking preppy pet and a lot of people do want this pet. A lot of people would love to like overpay for it and most people use happy values for it. Overall it's so good to get preppy megas in general. If you really want to get win trades and adopt me, I do recommend trading for preppy megas. Overall, in general, you're most likely to get win trades with just the mega poodle itself because a lot of people do use happy values for these type of pets. Anyways, pals, let's move on to the last tip for this video. The last tip I have for you, pals, is to trade for full grown pets. Most of the time for me, I always tend to always get win trades when I have full grown pets because let's say if someone is trading for a full grown pet 
and their pet is literally just the newborn there's most likely a higher chance of you getting an overpay and that includes you getting a win trade you can make your pet a full grain or you can trade for them you don't have to trade a lot for them but at the end of the day you can always get profit from them because in adult me a lot of people love to make neon slush megas and plus if i'm gonna be so real it makes grinding so so much easier in adult me so yeah anyways pearls thank you so much for watching this video comment more video suggestions you'd want me pearls to do next in this channel i do not mind i actually am running low on video suggestions so let me know and comment pearls if you'd want me to play any more games apart from adult me and yeah but yeah pearls i enjoyed making this little tips videos and comment if you want me to do any more tips and tricks videos in adopt me because i i'm kind of running low with those ideas and i'd love to know what type of tips you pearls would want me to do or tutorials i'm free to do whatever but yeah pearls i will see pearls all in the next video bye pearls